Hey guys, welcome back to Machine Gun Mike. Today we're going to be taking a look at a non-machine gun, and it is this one right here. It is a Russian M1895 Nagant revolver. Super cool revolver and relatively cheap. They made millions of these from 1895 all the way until the 1950s. So, one thing that makes this pistol really, really unique is that I'm pretty sure it's the only one where it actually doesn't have gases that escape out the sides right here. Every other revolver does, and I'm pretty sure this is the only one that doesn't. So let's take a closer look at this gun so that I can kind of show you how that works, and then we'll do some shooting. So up close, this revolver, you can definitely tell it's kind of an old school design. Still a real nice design though. Right there is what you flip down to load rounds in the cylinder. And this is really what I want to show you guys. So you can see the normal gap between the cylinder and the barrel. However, on this gun, when you cock it, the cylinder rotates, not rotates, the cylinder moves forward and seals up against the barrel. So no gases and no sound can come out the side, also increasing the velocity of the round. Pretty interesting that it does that, and it's kind of a two-part system. In order to make that work, the round itself is special. And this is actually a loaded round. The bullet is actually tucked inside of the brass casing. And that basically gets crammed up into the chamber of the barrel and seals it off. So you can see it's sealed off right there. So when you pull the trigger, obviously the gun would fire. And then as you release the trigger, it goes back. Now let's move towards the front of the pistol. That plunger right there is used to remove spent casings. And you will notice this revolver is threaded. And the reason we have it threaded is because since no gases are escaping out the side of the cylinder, it can actually be suppressed, unlike pretty much every other revolver made. And we have a suppressor here with us, of course, and it is AAC's Tyrant 9. So we're going to put that on the gun and do some shooting with it. The rounds are subsonic, so it is definitely hearing safe and very quiet. All right guys, so here at the range, we're gonna do a little bit of shooting with it. I have some steel set up real close, probably about 10 yards or so, and we're gonna do some shooting. So, to get this thing loaded, you flip this back, and then you feed each round individually into the cylinder. Hold seven rounds, so that's two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Then you lock this back. It fires from single action or double action. I pretty much prefer just doing single action. The double action is a super heavy trigger, so we'll probably just do some single action right now. The pistol does shoot, <laughs> honestly, like I noticed about seven inches low at 10 yards, so you kind of have to hold over quite a bit, even at this distance. Here's a slamming that steel. And really all that you hear, you don't even hear the gun, you hear the steel. I'll shoot off into the dirt for you. You can really hear how quiet it is. Last one at the steel. Awesome. Totally awesome. Make sure. Pretty sure that was seven. Alright, so to get the spent rounds out, you flip this back open, you grab this right here, pull it and rotate it, and then you use this to push the rounds out. If I know what I'm doing. There we go. There goes one. Two. Three. Four, not the best system to get them out quickly. Five, two more, six, and seven. So, yeah, I mean, as you can hear, the thing is very quiet. It honestly sounds like a cap gun. Obviously, no hearing protection. 
Uh, the round is subsonic, therefore there's not even a sonic crack with it. And since this revolver does seal up the chamber, you can get all the noise and gases coming out the side. So let's get it loaded up again and do a little bit more shooting. All right, let's just shoot off into the dirt again. <laughs> it's crazy how quiet it is. Awesome. Okay, let's shoot at that steel again. Smoking. All done. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and there you have it the Russian M1895 Nagant revolver. And man, it's a sweet little revolver, you know, and like I said, it's relatively cheap. This, these revolvers, I mean, they can still be picked up for probably around $200 or so. I mean, of course, if you had some bring back paper, you know, special revolver, all original and matching, you know, the price could be way up there. But for the most part, if you pick up something like this, they're pretty dang cheap. They were like $100 or so not that long ago, but I think they're about $200 now. So, and I got to bring this up because I know somebody else will say it. I don't really feel bad about threading the barrel on this gun. I know that some people will be like, man, I can't believe you did that on an original World War II pistol. And believe me, I would normally be the person to say that myself. But with this pistol, I don't know, I just made a uh, an exception for it, really. They made millions of them. They can be picked up cheap. And this one in particular, it's got pitting on the barrel. It's been refinished. It has non-matching parts. So as far as collectible Nagant revolvers go, this is probably about as low as it can get. So I don't really feel that bad about threading it. And honestly, it made it even more of a fun revolver to shoot than it already was. So, anyways, I guess that's pretty much everything I want to tell you about it. So, as always, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please definitely subscribe to my channel. And check me out on my new Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash MachineGunMikeYouTube. And with that said, hope you have a good day. I'll see you here next time.